Today's Captain's Blog is made possible through the support of Avitech and dozens of other people just like you on Patreon. If you like what I do and you enjoy this series, please check out the links below in the description and see how you can get involved and help me make more and better videos. Thank you. Hi there guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we get to do Project Archie Episode 9, where we get to explore these, which are really awesome. Switchcraft is a company that makes a lot of plugs, plugs and sockets, that's their thing, especially in the low voltage communication world. And they make really good stuff. I'm, I'm a big fan, and I'm glad that that is what Chris Annan picked for this particular part of the robot, because these are, even though they're, they're, they're RJ45 plugs, these are labeled Cat5e, we're not using them for Ethernet. We're using them for data in and out of the robot that is not Ethernet data. It's a totally different thing. So if you look on the back of the robot, Let's move this out of the way. So if you look on the back of your robot, you will see three holes in the lower right side. So this is your bottom right corner. And there's these three holes and they got little holes already set up with them. Those are your pilot holes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these plugs in these holes and they're gonna look like that. But we don't put these in yet because they have, they're like a snap in fitting here so don't just drop these in yet because you gotta you want to get your your holes drilled out first so for your holes you're gonna need a number 41 so we open Pandora's box of Chineseium crap and we see right there oh we lost 30 but we still got 41 we're cool at 96 thousandths of an inch 41. Though this robot is largely metricated, so number 41 for us is 2.4 millimeters, and uh, that's that's what we'll go with. So if you can't find a number 41 drill bit, because they only come in a big numbered set, um, 2.4 millimeters, that's what you want. And it doesn't have to be exact, it's just got to be close enough, because you're just, you're running a screw into plastic, so let's not, let's not get all Twitter painted with this. So check that up in your drill. And we're just gonna run this right in and drill our holes. So you wanna have high speed, gentle feed because you're drilling through 3D printed plastic. And these are just gonna zip right out. Like nothing to it. So it's kind of hard to do out in the middle of the bench. I'm going to do it here over at the edge. Cool. We're all sorted there. That's nice and easy. Blow it out. All right. So next step, make sure you've got it right side up. Should look like this. And then just pop this right in the hole, and it'll set. And they don't, they don't appear to latch. I hadn't stuck one in because when I was messing around with this before, it felt like it was going to kind of latch in there, and I was like, ah, I'm not going to do that till it's showtime. All right, you're going to want an itty bitty little Phillips head. A number one fits these just great. So number one Phillips, and you just run the screw right on in. Now the screws you're using for this do come in your hardware kit. There, you're gonna need six number four flat countersunk head screws, and they'll be Phillips. So that's what your screws look like. They're super tiny, and they're in a bag with some other screws. Make sure you're nice and square, and then just run that right on in. Oh, that's sexy. All right, let's do it again. Second verse, same as the first. It 
And don't over tighten these, you're going into just 3D printed plastic. So there's no sense in going nuts with it. They'll just strip out and then you'll be sad. Just run them all the way down nice and snug and you're set. And there you have it. Look at that. That's art. It's looking like real professional stuff now. We got things happening. I'm going to stick this in here. This isn't where it goes, I don't think, but I'm just going to stick it in there and make it look a little better. There. Now, in our next video, we're going to make the terminations on the back side of these. We're going to have all of our wires coming in here, but that is for episode 10. For now, that was a nice, quick, easy one. And you're all set. Look at those. They're so pretty. This is, this is nice. So now we have a robot base with a motor and a drive system, and we've got sexy, sexy plugs on the back. Appreciate these now because in the future, you're never really gonna see them again because this is the back of the robot and who the hell looks at the back of the robot. But for now, this is pretty cool. We got, it's starting to do stuff. We're getting mechanisms happening and things coming together and I'm pretty damn excited about that. So thank you for hanging out for a short one, just a, a quick, little tip and only for a minute of installing your RJ45s. This type of socket is called an RJ45, not to be confused with an RJ11, but for installing your RJ45 plugs, sockets, in the back of your robot. You guys have fun? I'm Chris Bowden and you're not. And as always, we'll see you next time. I like it. I'm a happy guy. Are you? So we now have a robot base with a motor and shit falling the fuck out of it. I'm really going to be happy when we get to do J2 and get those fucking things locked in there. Project Archie, episode 9, sync. And then we put the fucking thing back in the hole because it fell on the ground. And we're going to keep breaking the damn thing until we put in fucking J2. But that's coming up in like episode 50 or some shit. We'll get there.